When it comes to card sleeves, many Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and Flesh and Blood players ask the question, is there any sleeve that can beat the Dragon Shield mat? Long regarded as the single best card sleeve on the market, Dragon Shield has grown so massively in size and scope that it now offers more varieties, more colors, more textures, and more artworks than could ever be listed in a single video. But has all that expansion come at the cost of quality or, at the very least, consistency? Earlier this year, Dragon Shield acknowledged quality control issues and publicly apologized for batches of Dragon Shield sleeves, which had been manufactured with unacceptable quality, even going so far as to offer refunds to any who had purchased the subpar sleeves. All of this has left many people wondering, have the problems with Dragon Shield sleeves been corrected, while further begging the question, is there any competitor on the market that can equal, or dare I say surpass, the quality of Dragon Shield sleeves? This video will seek to answer that question, as we'll not only be looking at the current quality of Dragon Shield sleeves, but also comparing it to the rest of the marketplace with a particular eye towards new lines of sleeves, such as the Ultimate Guard Cortexes. So which sleeves are the best for your cards as we reach the end of 2023? Let's take a look. Dragon Shield matte sleeves are considered some of the best sleeves on the marketplace for a good reason. They are the thickest sleeve out there with clear fronts that don't easily scratch and beautiful matte backs. Here's a deck sleeved up in Dragon Shield mats that I've put through moderate use over the course of a month. And you can see how the sleeves remain crisp, clean, and best of all, scratch free. Unfortunately, unlike their classic formula, Dragon Shield mats do not withstand a stretch test. However, unlike the classic formula, Dragon Shield mats are now easy to double sleeve with and also have a very smooth quality shuffle feel. It's a quality that most competitors can't come close to. If you're looking for the thickest sleeves on the market, whether it's for single or double sleeving, Dragon Shield mats come in an enormous variety of colors, are very unlikely to split, scratch or dent, and thus are probably just what you are looking for in a sleeve. And I want to stress that despite legitimate concerns from those quality assurance issues earlier this year, I do still consider Dragon Shield sleeves to be the best on the market. I enthusiastically endorse these as some of the best sleeves out there, and they are what I use in my personal collection, though also in full disclosure, I no longer use the dual mats, and I exclusively use Dragon Shield mats for my my own decks in my own collection. This is because it has been in dual matte sleeves that I kept encountering the quality control issues that Dragon Shield acknowledged back in March. Here are some dual matte sleeves that I used for about one month and encountered these issues with. This did not happen to me with every pack of dual mats, and as you can see from this pack of dual mats that I purchased about two weeks ago and used heavy shuffling with, the issues are not universally present. But it kept happening to me so often that for the time being, I'm really just sticking with Dragon Shield mats. That's because I have yet to encounter, whether in March or present day, a bad batch of regular Dragon Shield mats. And you can compare to this deck after moderate use of about a month as well. But despite my hesitancy to continue using dual mats for the time being, Dragon Shield mats remain to be some of the best sleeves on the market. After all, what other options really are out there, and does any of it even come close to the high quality that Dragon Shield embodies? All right, you've seen the best. Now, let's look at Ultra Pro. If Dragon Shield's journey has been one of excellence to excess, then Ultra Pro's was, in many ways, the inverse. Once widely known for having some of the lowest quality card sleeves, seriously, they used to be like absolute tissue paper. But all of that changed with their Eclipse sleeves and their new Chroma Fusion design. Eclipse sleeves come in either a clear glossy front or frosted matte front, and both are of equal high quality. Both have the exact same stipled matte back. The difference in 
labeling of glossy and matte refers to the front of the sleeve. Now, personally, the frosted matte front is not to my personal liking, as it prevents foils from shining and has an overall dulling effect on the color and vibrancy of your cards. I very much prefer the glossy fronts. That, of course, is not unique to Ultra Pro, as just about every brand from Dragon Shield to BCW offers sleeves in both a clear glossy front and frosted matte front, and I just prefer glossies all the way. It is hard to overstate what a jump in quality Ultra Pro sleeves received with the development of Chroma Fusion. As you can see from this stretch test, these are the matte style, but the glossy hold up equally well to a stretch test. For the purposes of this review, I'll specifically be looking at the Eclipse Matte and Glossy Sleeves. But I want to point out that the Chroma Fusion durability is in all Ultra Pro sleeves that feature it on the packaging, meaning even their art sleeves have this same quality. And again, the Glossy Sleeves are of the same quality as the mattes. Here I am doing a stretch test on Glossies and finding them equally tough to tear. Again, while I do personally prefer the Glossy style, in all of my testing I never noticed any discernible difference between these and the mats. Shuffle feel on both styles is smooth and pleasant. I tried to see if there's a difference due to the glossy fronts, but if there is one, I can't tell. Both have a great shuffle feel and, as I just showed, are resistant to tears and splits. I can find some small bends and dings along the corners of sleeves after use. This is a batch of glossies after about one month of moderate use, and while not terrible, they do get a little banged up along the edges. Eclipses are another example of a card sleeve that came out, was absolutely amazing, a fantastic A grade, and then further iterations had quality assurance issues. They have corrected, but are they as good as they were at the start? In my evaluation, no, but I want to stress that even though I like to lob some jokes at Ultra Pro, these are excellent sleeves. I stand by Eclipses, both in the matte and glossy, as some of the top tier sleeves on the market. Really, and I mean that, and I am a hard ass. But in fairness, I do have to acknowledge that this current iteration is not as good as the originals, that while it went very far down afterwards and has gone back up, it hasn't reclaimed that greatness. If I were to give these a grade as of today, I'm going to say these are a B plus. And while they aren't quite as good as Dragon Shield mats, I do think they are not only head and shoulder above where Ultra Pro used to be, but certainly head and shoulder above most of the competition as well. New from Ultimate Guard is their Cortex line of budget sleeves. Now I want to emphasize budget because these are actually intended not as a competitor to premium quality sleeves, such as Dragon Shields, but a budget conscious sleeve that aims to offer decent quality at an affordable price. Cortexes, as well, are available in both a matte and glossy style, and again, in my testing, I found no noticeable difference in quality between the two. I will reiterate my overall preference for a clear glossy front, but that, of course, is just a personal preference. Cortex sleeves do not withstand a stretch test, splitting easily and without a lot of pressure. And in my testing, I have had several Cortexes split on me just during the course of a game. But what bothered me most about Cortex sleeves is how easily their fronts and backs scratch and scuff. These sorts of marks can actually be a little tough to capture on camera, so I've placed some black-backed World Championship cards in these sleeves to help show off how incredibly scratched up my Cortexes became, not after a month of moderate use, but after just a couple nights of light play. Shuffle feel is awful. Listen to the on-camera audio and hear how these sleeves catch and crash.
No wonder these got so scratched up. For comparison, here's the sound of eclipse sleeves and of dragon shield mats. If you are looking for budget sleeves, I do not recommend Cortexes. The best budget sleeves out there are either Gamegenic Primes, or my personal pick for best budget sleeve, the BCW Elite Guards, which have comparable pricing and far, far superior quality. I of course have more in-depth reviews on both of these sleeves that you can check out linked in this video's description. What's so wild about the low quality of Cortex sleeves is that Ultimate Guard happens to make not only a premium sleeve that I wholeheartedly recommend, but also it's one of the sleeves that is as good as, if not better than, Dragon Shield mats. I'm talking, of course, of Ultimate Guard Katanas. Perfect for both single and double sleeving, Ultimate Guard Katanas have a thick, beautiful matte back and high quality clear front that doesn't scratch, ding, or dent. The katanas heartily can handle a stretch test, and while I have managed to break some using this method, it was only with considerable effort. All right, I'm sticking two fingers in just to see what happens. Ugh. I swear I got one of these to break, but it happened off camera. The biggest difference between katana sleeves and dragon shield mats is that katanas leave very little extra space between card and sleeve top, whereas the dragon shield mats have a little extra room. As far as I'm concerned, this is simply a matter of personal preference on the part of the player, as both are excellent quality sleeves overall. Shuffle feel on katanas is amazing. It's like butter, honey. And out of every sleeve reviewed in the video today, from budget to premium, ultimate guard katanas have the overall best shuffle feel. Oh, if you have never shuffled Ultimate Guard Katanas, you are missing out. It is a feeling like winning a game of magic, only I can do it. And honestly, over the years, I have never seen deviations in production quality. Maybe that's why Katanas are so hard to get. I actually had to really scrounge around, both for online sellers and at local game stores, to purchase new batches of Katanas for this review. They are not plentiful, but maybe that's because Ultimate Guard is making sure that the katanas that come out are of the best and, best of all, consistent quality. Which is great because as a critic, as this review is showing, there is nothing more frustrating than inconsistent quality. I absolutely hate when I get a new product, I test it out, I find it to be excellent, I go and I make a video review saying it's excellent, and then six months to a year down the line, the quality has absolutely tanked. I'm glad that the Eclipses have come back up to a level of high quality, and I hope that Dragon Shield never, ever experiences quality control issues again, but with the Katanas, I've never had a single issue over the years, and I have used them consistently as well. The only negative thing I've ever heard about Katanas are internet posts from people saying that they get dirty and grimy and sticky, but I have never experienced that, ever. But I wash my hands, so, you know, Wash your hands. 
So while they may not be budget priced, katanas are an outstanding A quality and some of the best sleeves on the market, if not the very best. I know that a lot of players want to hear a clear overall answer as to which sleeve is number one, but I feel that since many different players have many different needs and many different ways that they need to use their sleeves, having multiple high quality premium sleeves means there's a perfect brand for just about everyone. As for which of the two is better, that is going to come down to you, the consumer. When you ask me, the critic, what is the best card sleeve on the market today, I can say with confidence it is either Dragon Shield Mats or Ultimate Guard Katanas. But if you ask me which of the two is best, well, there are many pros and cons to be had, and many different players have many different requirements for their cards. This is what you are looking for if you are looking for the best, just as this is what you are looking for if you are looking for a budget sleeve. The final decision is of course yours, just as the grade that really matters is not mine, but the one that you give based upon your needs. But in making that determination, I hope very much that this video has at least been of some help and given you some points to think about and consider and guide you on that journey. And you could help me out greatly just by watching another video. I recently took a somewhat sarcastic look at the act of triple sleeving. And if you missed that video, at the very least, it'll give you a chuckle, if not a few ideas for the best protection for your collection. next time on Shuffle Up and Play. Today we're playing a format that we all love and decks that we love. It's I Love Our Commander Day. I'm D. I love my Rakdos Lord of Riot's deck. Hi, I'm Jesse. My commander is Raph Capuchin, Ship's Mage. My name is Carmen Handy. This is Sakashima of a Thousand Faces and Tormod the Desecrator. I am playing with a deck that used to be one of my absolute favorites, Zozu the Punisher. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna Wheel of Fortune. I'm really regretting not playing this Soul Ring on turn one. What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right. You took nine damage. Yeah, to play my second land. Yes. And then cast my first spell. Listen. The bravest You did do that it. before both, uh, <laughs> they both came out. I would have done it either way. Do I look like a coward? Don't answer. The person to blame is right on the sleeve. Boom, boom. Ah, oh. There we the go. The spicy. There we go.